and see. I want to do this right. Okay. okay. Where's Daniel? Daniel, can you read this introductory mark? Where's Daniel? Daniel, Daniel, I'm why? I'm right here. Daniel. Yes, sir. Okay, would you read that for me? Chapter analysis answer. Okay, very good. This is one. This is two. See, I'm real good at Roman nomos. <laughs> I'm going to do three. Okay, okay. Now listen here. This is what you're going to do. You're going to humor Pastor Bernie all weekend. And this is, where it's good. This is going to cost you guys some money. You ready? Every time I say the word chapter analysis, let me drink, sir. Hmm. Man, I might die with that. Okay, you ready? I'm going to say question, question number whatever. Chat, when you hear, I want you all to raise your hands. Everybody in the room like this, even in the back row, raise your hands. When I say chapter analysis, get your hands up. Now put them down. I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this. 99% of my first year quizzers are going to blow this. And this is so simple. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do right now, Kevin. Let me have every quizzer in this room turn to page 45. 45. Everybody in your scripture portions open up to page 45. Adults, these are what I call free questions. These are called chapter analysis. There's only one little challenge. Individuals in geographical, you may say nothing but individuals in geographical. So even if you use the word and, A and B, or the, you'll be incorrect. So why I have them raise their hands is they burn upon them. In fact, i got to tell you a funny story. In my official match in Pennsylvania, a league match, the girl hit the buzzer and goes like this before she gave the answer. <laughs> this is just for quiz camp. That's okay. I mean, we laugh, but she got it right. I want you to do it because I want you to think before you speak. Think before you speak. Okay, so every time you reach out, and then, let's say, Kevin, you hit the buzzer. Hit the buzzer, Kevin. And I call on you before you give me the answer. You're going to do this, too. So you're going to do it twice on a chapter analysis question, okay? You ready? Because you may only, only give me the information on page 45. Now, let me make one. Oh, I want, hang on. I want to grab my rule book. I have the fancy, fancy... Dandy one. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you all have the new rule book. I want to read you something because um, some of my adults don't read, unfortunately, in America. And uh, they burn quizzers. I don't like when my quizzers get burned. I am going to tell you this because I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to have you underline it. And uh, because some of my adults did not read the rules. And they misinterpret the rules. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to tell you what page this is on. I just got my, uh, here we go. Would you please turn to page 15, everybody? Uh, no, no, the quizzers, you take advantage of the moment and stare at the chapter analysis on chapter 3, adults, and your rule book. Hope you have, you have your rule book with you. If you don't, uh, write this down, page 15. Who's got a rule book with them, adults? Let me see your hands. Okay, I'll talk to you too then, because this is very important. I'm gonna get, it's under chapter analysis. It's under 3B. Everybody say 3B is a boy. Okay, adults, the quizzer gives all the phrases, clauses, or key words of the chapter analysis found within the required answer. And this is referring to three is questions, exclamations, parenthetical, and Old Testament. Now let me explain this. If I ask for an individual, let's say the answer is Paul. Sarita, the answer is Paul. Sarita may say nothing but Paul. If she says the Paul or wonderful Paul or old man Paul, she's wrong. She may only say Paul. Okay? The same thing with the geographical location. Let's say I said, well, let me get back to the individual. Let's say I asked for five individuals and Sarita goes, Paul and X person. You're wrong because A and B is not on page 30, uh, 45, is it? Do you see under, do you see under ge uh, individuals and geographical? Yeah, Abraham is the only one in chapter 3. Okay, Abraham. Okay, let's go to chapter 5 then, or chapter 4. I know you're not doing 4, but hang on. Just look at the individuals under 4. What 3 do we have there, Sarita? Nice and loud. Abraham, Hagar, and Isaac. Hagar, and Isaac. Okay, very good. If I ask for a three-part question, question number 1 for 50 points. Oh, uh, let's say 30, so I'm confused you. There's no 50 point question. It can't, there is, but not. Okay, question, question number 1 for 20 points. Three-part chapter analysis answer. From the section title, ba ba ba, and Serena goes Abraham, Hagar, and Isaac. Is she right or wrong? Wrong. wrong. She can only say Abraham, Hagar, Isaac. What can I say? 
is and in there. And is not a chapter analysis. So on individuals and geographical, it must be point blank. However, on three, under chapter analysis, this is where some adults get confused, for anything else on that page 45 that we're looking at, which pertains to what? Questions, exclamation, parenthetical, and Old Testament. It does not need to be word perfect. It needs to have all the what? 3B. Phrases, clauses, and key words. So they don't need every word. It doesn't need to be quoted. I get frosted when I travel around America, to be honest with you. People tell me they didn't quote it word perfect or they added a little word. I don't care. It doesn't need to be word perfect. Okay? We know the difference. On page 45, there are six categories. Four of them do not need to be word perfect. Individuals and geographical do. Okay. So don't burn my quizzers, adults, if you're officiating tomorrow night.